Hi, I'm Rob. And I'm Rob. And this is Ask Rob and Rob. Hello and welcome to episode number 11 of Ask Rob and Rob, the podcast where you have a question and we have an answer, we hope. Today's question comes in from Ravi and Lester. Before we hear what Ravi has to ask, Rob, if someone has a question of their own, how can they ask it? It's easy peasy. Give us a call. It's just normal rates on 01 3808 That's 01 3808 Zero 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 three five. Leave us a message on that answer phone, and we'll get you on soon. Or if you prefer the old computer, go to the propertyhub.net forward slash podcast and leave a recording there. That's what Ravi did. So let's listen to his question. Hi, Ravi. It's uh, Ravi from Leicester. Um, I'm an IT uh, contractor consultant, and I currently take out AK in. Um, in salary and rest in dividends. I know that in April 2016, everything's changing. Um, it's fine. Um, and um, basically, um, what I wanted to know, I, I've been reading and uh, listening to your podcast um, about um, having a, um, I've got my own consultancy company, but then having a property company and then loaning the money uh, to the property company and then using that as a deposit uh, with an interest rate. Um, is this a director's loan? Because director's loan, you've got to pay back in nine months. You've got to pay CT on that corporation tax. Um, what exactly is this? Could you explain this in more detail? As I'm very interested in this, and um, put maybe some notes down on the show notes um, explaining this, so I can maybe show that to my accountant. Um, especially when dividends go up next year, uh, it saves me a hell of a lot of money for not taking money out of my middle band uh, dividend allowance and um, shifting it that way. Uh, that would be much appreciated, Rob. Love the show, by the way. Cheers, thanks. Oh, Ravi, I must say, there's there's nothing. <laughs> there are a few things I like less than giving tax advice on the podcast because inevitably we're going to not quite get it right, and then people are going to be angry with us. And we're not accountants, but that said, we have got some accountancy advice that we've got from various parties, which we can pass on with the caveat that we are not tax advisors and accountants never seem to really agree on anything there seem to be a lack of hard and fast answers to everything to do with taxation so with those caveats in mind i am going to gutlessly pass it over to you rob to answer the question (laughs) thank you rob well ravi let's first of all tackle the direct the loan part because that is an option as we'll see it might not be the best option but it is an option so let's say you took a hundred thousand pounds from your company and you decided to set up a director's loan. You'd have to set it up a commercial rate, which is currently 3.25%. You would pay that rate back each year. Now, that money then could be used to invest in property. However, if the loan is not repaid by nine months after the year-end accounting period, okay, so whenever your accounting period ends, nine months after that, then the company you took the loan from, so say your IT company, would pay 25% tax. Now, that is a temporary tax because once the loan is repaid in full, then that tax would then come back to you. It's not a tax that you will always have to pay. It's only if it's not paid back. So a little bit messy, probably not the best way to do it. But actually, though, if you haven't got a property company and you've got a business that you want to lend from, this is one way you can do it, but not the best way. The best way, as you've touched on, is lending from a company to a company. So setting up an official loan between two separate companies, which you can do. Again, it has to be seen at a commercial rate. It can't be interest free. Otherwise, it looks like it's some sort of benefit. But if you set up a normal loan, say about 3.25%, you can loan from one company to the other. But the great thing is, is the property company that you'd have, if you ever want to lower your profits, you can pay back to your original company bigger parts of your loan. It all has to be documented, it all has to be official, your accountant needs to be on the ball. You mentioned resources for your accountant, well the good news is Rob, we've got a course for this. Yes we have, if you go to the propertyhub.net slash courses, you'll find it there. I imagine Ravi has already watched this course, but if you haven't, then check it out. Just go to the propertyhub.net slash courses, you'll find it there, we'll link to it in the show notes for this episode as well. Get your accountant to watch it, make them a listener, why not? So as I said, we're going to link to that in the show notes which as ever are at thepropertyhub.net slash property advice. Go there, you'll find the link to the course and we'll throw in the links to the episodes that we did around the tax changes which have prompted a lot of this discussion around limited companies. 
Another place to find investors who are going to be talking about this thing and just about anything else you can imagine to do with property is at the Property Hub Summit. These are events that we just have once a quarter with a small select good looking bunch of property investors who get together to have high level discussions about their investing strategy. When I say high level, I don't mean that you need to be some kind of mogul and have a double digit portfolio to be there. Not at all. We have some people attend who have no properties yet at all. But what I do mean is that we're not just going over the old ground that we cover in the podcasts. We are putting together a specific personalized action plan for each person And then at the end of the day, you go away, you network with the people you meet, mastermind with them a little bit, and we all get together again three months later to see how you're getting on, hold you accountable, and make sure there's nothing else standing in your way. If you're interested in joining us at our next summit in 2016, there is a very easy way to find out more. All you need to do is pick up your phone, text the word summit, then a space, and your email address to 88802. So text the word SUMMIT, S-U-M-M-I-T, then a space followed by your email address to 88802. So that's another question for another week, but don't worry, we'll be back next Tuesday. And of course, you've got the Property Podcast on Thursday. If you want to dig into the show notes and get more details on what we discussed today, then go to the propertyhub.net forward slash property advice. That's the propertyhub.net forward slash property advice. And until Thursday, bye-bye. Bye-bye.